So it's here, it's now, it's game time. Yes. Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. I've upset another banter FC player. It's here, it's now, it's game day. We're away for this one. We're off to Victoria Park. It's Hartlepool United v Banter FC in the Vanarama National League. So, Banter FC, the gift that just keeps on giving. I took a deep breath. I looked at my friends. I was like, it's about to go down. <laughs> Now I'll be the first one to admit I'm not all sweet and innocent, but I don't know what I've done this time round to be blocked. The guy's not been seen in over two months. Maybe it's the club telling players to block me. Why you have to be mad? No, wait, 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 wait. I could do better. I could do better. Why so serious? No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. I could do better. I could do better. Does someone need a hug? No, 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 wait, 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 I can do better, I can do better. Christmas is only two months away. I've got your present ready for you, Shaq. <laughs> so you can have a good cry over fans going home and away each week, giving up their free time and spending their hard-earned money to watch you, who was once on Tottenham's book, so must be a superstar, scoring a whopping 11 goals in the league last season in non-league, while spending half of that time on the floor. <laughs> But anyway, that's another chat in bollocks. Let's get into football news! So Hartlepool United finished 16th last season in the Vanarama National League, where they played 46 times, winning 15, drawing 14, losing 17, scoring 56, conceding 62, giving them a goal difference of minus six, and they finished on 56 points. They currently sit 15th, and the last five games have been three wins, one draw, and one loss. Tony Sweeney is caretaker manager right now, but he's taken two games and got two wins. So that's like 100% win rate. <laughs> Number 23, Jimmy Torre, who has seven goals in 17 games. I don't care about your I don't give a fuck. Oh shit, here we go again. The 18th or the 11th, 2018. Hartlepool United 1, Barnet 3. Peter Chioso put in Hartlepool 1 it up. Two quick goals from Manny Duku and a 95th minute from Josh Walker, giving Barnet all three points. So, let's get to the grand, let's get some team news in, let's get three points, and let's get the fuck out of town. Fuck you, Hartlepool United. Last time we played you away, I almost died crossing the road, my shoe came off, and I had to run for the last train. I had to run, you bunch of wankers. Come on! Banter. FC! <laughs> Starting 11 for Barnett in a 4 2 3 1. Loach in goal. Your back four of Shea Alexander at right back. David Zatonda at left back. Dan Sweeney and Ricardo Santos, your two centre halves. Two in the middle. Captain Harry Taylor and Andre Bucard. The three in the advanced midfield role. Medi Lee on the wide left. Maro Valletti on the wide right. And Jack Taylor, number 10 role. And up front, Josh Walker. And this is our Hartlepool lineup today in a 4 2 3 1. Six minutes in Hartlepool United. One. Banter. For FC. Nil. From our goal kick. Loach boots it into the centre of midfield. Hartlepool win the ball. 
play through the Featherstone, he plays the ball through to Kabamba, Kabamba running through, Swinney through the last minute ditch where he puts it through to Lowe, so making it 1 0. Less than 10 minutes on the clock, 1 0 down, no change there. 20 minutes in, Hartlepool still lead 1 0, both sides are playing football, they're holding on to the ball well, we've had the better of the possession, but we're just not going anywhere with it, always passing it sideways and backwards, we're not really gaining any real advantage with the movement, it's far too slow. 27 minutes in, Hartlepool United 2, Banter, or FC, 0. Swinney tries playing the long ball down the right hand side of Shea, Hartlepool intercept it, straight through the middle, nice little one-two passes, every time they go forward they look dangerous, they've been better on the ball than we are, and Nicky Kabamba has just made it 2-0 to Hartlepool. 10 to the half, Hartlepool still lead 2-0, Kerr's just had an effort from about 20-25 yards, rattled the bar, no closing down, I don't know what more I can say, we just have no bite about us, there's about three players out there that actually want to get stuck in. 5 to the half, still losing 2-0, not had a shot on target in 4 Minutes. Got to be a treble sub at half. Half time here at Victoria Park is Hartlepool United 2. It's banter. Or FC. Nil. Do I need to say any more? And I've already said in the past. It's just too predictable. It's too stale. It's too easy. We played the ball backwards and we passed more times to low than we have our own forward up front. We're getting the ball nice areas. We're getting to the halfway line. We're shitting ourselves and then we're passing it backwards. Hartlepool plays a nice football and every time they go forward they look dangerous. Didn't even have a shot on target in that first half. Even if we somehow manage to get something out of this game in this second half, it's just going to be the same next week and a week after and a week after. We need a change now. It's too stale, it's too boring, too predictable. Formation isn't working, the team's set up, it's not working. No one's happy and I think it's time to cut our losses and move on. Typical banter for FC. minutes in, Hartlepool still lead 2-0. I have no idea if Hartlepool's keep was any good because we still haven't had a shot. Kabamba's still running the shot front for Hartlepool. We can't deal with a quick counter-attack and the long balls. Sweeney is getting muscled out this game by Kabamba and Loach has pulled off two good saves to keep the score down. I guess I'm going to get blocked by another person on Twitter for criticising them. 63 minutes in, it's still 2-0 to Hartlepool and now we're down to 10 men. If you think it couldn't get any worse, it just did. Jack Taylor, just been showing a second Second yellow and a foul on Peter Chioso. It wasn't a nasty challenge, but it was just a second or two late. 73 minutes and 19 seconds in, we're still losing 2 0, but we just had a shot on target from Shea Alexander. But the keeper saves down low to his left. Five minutes of normal time, Hartlepool still lead 2 0. Jimmy Torre dancing through our box, cutting and turning. Gets a very good shot from Loach. Great save to push it for a corner just to keep the score down. Into 90, still losing 2 0. Just added on four extra minutes. Just put him out of our misery. So the game finished, Hartlepool United 2, Banter FC 0. Yet another team that's done their own work on us. Let Banter FC have all the ball, all the possession. They don't do fuck all with it. Apart from pass the ball back to their keeper more than they do the forwards. Hartlepool kept their shape, kept the ball well, and worked hard as a team. And punished us and took the chances when they were there. And if it wasn't for Loach being called upon, we could have lost about 5-0. But with us, you've heard me say it time and time again. Enough is enough now. I don't care we're in the first round of the FA Cup. I don't even care we're three points off the playoffs. Finn, sorry for Curry and saying it's not him, it's the players. We was 2-0 down at half time, yet no changes were made to the formation or the players. How was Bukar sitting on that pitch and no one up front with Walker? Clueless, backwards, sideways, negative football. Uh, but you're negative with what you say. It'll be the same with the game after this and the game after that and the game after that. It's been the same since the start of this season. Wrong team selection, wrong formation, playing his favourites. How Bukar gets picked, I'll never know. He's about the same size as me and as old as Steve Percy. Oh, but Matt, he's good on the ball. Slows played down far too much, which allows the other side to get their shape and get back in position. So if we had a threat on, a counter-attack, we've now lost it. Curry is on the same amount of points after 18 games in the league, just like John Steele was. 25 points. So when everyone was calling for Steele at, why aren't you doing the same for Curry? Hypocritical. One win in eight we've had. It may be an honeymoon period for Hartlepool right now. And people saying, oh, someone new comes in, they've got to deal with a John Steele shit. Just like Curry's had to deal with it. We just lost to a team that has a caretaker manager in charge who's just won three out of three. He's dealing with the same shit that another manager's had to bring in. It's stale, it's boring, it's the same shit over and over again. And I've had enough now. Tala.